guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a little bit of decluttering in my kitchen. I have been unpacking my dishwasher and found my drawers to be such a mess that they definitely need to be sorted out today. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so these are the drawers I want to sort out today. You can see that's the first one, not too bad. That one's looking absolutely terrible. Lots of bits and pieces that shouldn't be in here. That one's also kind of a mess, not too bad. And this one down here definitely needs some work. So I think to start with, I'm going to just remove the first the stuff in the first drawer and do them one by one so that it's just a little bit more organized and not as crazy. Okay, so this is drawer one. I'm just going to remove everything. quick wash okay so that's clean these are really nice we got these at Kmart when I say these actually only one the other one is a little different I'll show that to you just now it's got the nice rubbering in at the bottom here what I like to do is generally put my spoons small spoons in here medicine cups. I like to keep these in here as well because we're always looking for them and it's just handy to get to when they're in there. And I've got this little sugar spoon, fancy sugar spoon that I got. And I like to put Raven's little cutlery in there as well because they're a little bit smaller. There we go. And then moving on, I always put the Sharp knives, knives, and then I'll do my forks and larger spoons. Okay, so now I'm going to put the other cutlery back. I'm going to start with my sharp knives. Then I'm going to place my normal knives. My forks in here I like to put them sideways like this it just makes them fit a lot better and then my large spoons I pretty much do the same with the spoons as I do with the forks like I said it just fits, the, fits nicely into the slot like that And then in here, I'll just put little things like the kids' um, straws, and then maybe just straws that you've gotten when getting takeaways. You never know when you need those. And that one's done. I think that looks a lot neater. So I'm going to put that back in. Draw number two. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that I've taken it out. I'm basically going to start by sorting all the wooden stuff, plastic stuff, things that shouldn't be in here, um, measuring cups, and then we're going to put it all back nice and neatly. Okay, so I've sorted everything. Here's all my plastic items. I've put all the measuring cups together, all my metal items, and all the wooden ones. Then this is another one of those gadgety things that you put in your drawers. I got this as well at Kmart. Also has the rubber. I'm not too sure what this here is. Maybe it fits into the other one that you saw earlier, but I've used them just in the bottom of my drawer to put these items into. So I'm going to put them all back in nice and neatly.
Okay, so basically what I've done is put the plastic on the one side, the wood in the middle, and all the metal on this side. I've slotted the other items down the side here, so it's the garlic crusher and our can opener over there. I put the pizza cutter down at the bottom here. I'm worried that the kids cut themselves on this, so I try to keep it underneath things that they don't get to it. And then I've put the other grater, handheld grater, just down the front here. But that does look a lot neater. Moving on to the next drawer. Okay, so yeah, I don't have very much items to put back in. I've got these um, Chanel sticks, which we use on and off for our coffee machine to clean it. I've got some loose bags. I'm just going to place in front. My tin foil. Some other packets. And my cling wrap. I do have a plastic board that I use from time to time. I like to put that just in here at the bottom. And I've got some wax paper rolls as well, just to put in there. That's done and looking a lot better. This drawer seems to be claiming all the receipts that we do from all our shopping. And it's just gathering up inside here. I actually have a box that I normally put these into. So I'm just going to take them all out and they were going to go into that box. So I'm going to put my recipe book back in here. I've got a Jamie Oliver recipe book that we brought with us. I've got my IR Shopper scanning panel form. I'm going to keep that in here because I use it every time I do shopping. I scan all my groceries in. I like to keep these in here for the pots and my little mittens. I can't believe how much better this drawer looks already. And that's it guys. Done. The rest is all going into another box. It looks a lot, lot better. I'm not sure if I've shown you guys this in any of my previous videos, but often when you buy these metal racks, they start to rust on this little area over here, which in turn causes your zinc in areas to rust. Mine has just been cleaned, so you won't see it now. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of nail polish over this area on all four sides. And as you can see, my nail polish is coming off. So I'm going to quickly redo these. This is a lovely tip for you guys to stop that rusting problem on the side of your zinc. So to start with, I'm just going to take some of my Q-Tex remover. And I'm just going to remove the old Q-Tex. And also any rust that may have formed on there. As you can see it comes really nicely clean. Okay, now that I've removed it and it's looking all nice and sparkly clean again, I'm going to take some of my cutex and I'm going to put it on top. You don't need a lot, you're literally just going to coat the tip of it where the rust would form. to dry and then I will put it back. Okay guys, as you know me, I don't always stop with one thing. I've now found another cupboard that I really think should be cleaned. So while I'm at it, let's just get into it. This is the cupboard I am looking at. If I open it up, it's basically all the condiments and spices and pretty much anything else. Coffee, hot chocolate, Nesquik. So yeah, I just want to give this a little bit of a sorting because it really is one big mess and I'm struggling to find things at the moment. So let's dive into there. I think to start with, I'm just going to remove everything. So we have a clean slate. As you guys all know, I like to remove the cupboards totally before I start. So now that my cupboard is empty, I'm going to just take a cloth and wash the whole inside out before I place everything back. Okay, another tip when doing these clean outs of your cupboards is to fill your basin with a bit of water with a little bit of soap in it and have a cloth handy. So every time you need to wipe something, it's ready to go. Okay guys, so I've cleaned these shelves off. They're lovely turnstiles, so what's nice is you can spin them all the way around. Um, I just have to watch, watch the gas line is at the back, so if I put high things on the top one, it does tend to get stuck. 
but when they're empty lovely to clean because you can just spin them around and clean I've got both shelves done now I'm going to organize organizing is not just putting it all back in I literally put all my spices together I color code them so all my herbs will go one side and all my others will go the other side I like to keep all these containers that I get with my meat I wash them out thoroughly and they are quite a sturdy plastic throwing them away for me is very difficult because I find you can always use them so what I'm going to do with these is I have a lot of spices that I've got through my dinnerly which come in little packets like this that I haven't actually used I'm going to pop them all in here and place them into the cupboard that way okay I'm done with the cupboard I just did it all off camera quickly I'm going to show you guys what I've done so here are all my spices all the herbs together and all your other types of spices over there if we go around this side I've just put some of the gravies um, the baking stuff vanilla essence and some baking powder some hot chocolate strawberry milk all that kind of stuff this side with my erythritol and then if we go this way behind the spices here I've got the bigger spices and then I've got that little tub that I did with all the extra um, cubes you will see I've refrained from putting stuff at the back because of that little gas line over there and then if we go down to the bottom here I've put all the jams and peanut butter honey all on this side along with our pancake mixes maple syrup and all that kind of stuff further back I put the things I don't use too often the vinegar and red wine vinegar and if we go this way I use these a lot so I like to keep them in front um, we cook with coconut oil we don't really use the sunflower oil I know I do have some vegetable oil but I'm not sh uh, can't remember what we needed it for I think I made banana bread anyways so we use our coconut oil I've got my two salts and the tomato sauce we use a lot you guys can see I like to have everything facing forward so you can see what it says when you're looking for it it's visible and if we go around here there's our mustards all our other sauces that we use and at the back I've put the bulk tomato sauce I normally use that just to top this one up it's a lot easier than buying the small ones all the time and that's it looking a hell of a lot better and hopefully now next time my husband uses the kitchen he'll know where to find everything hey love no answer well guys, I hope you enjoyed my bit of a clean out of my kitchen and that it has motivated you to do the same. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!